by the opening prayer. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang magiging kaya sa sigatanan alam ng puso sa dinig mo'y buhay upang hinihang tuyag na ng magiging sa mandulupi today, let your guidance and protection be upon us. Send your spirit to us and give us wisdom. We thank you for all the blessings we have received. We also thank you for the lives of the people in this place. Be glorified in everything we do. In your name we pray. Amen. Welcome us all to this virtual graduation. May I call on Ia Juliana K. Mahusay to give us her welcome address. To our respected guests, members of Hagto Elementary School teaching staff, beloved parents, my fellow graduates, friends, a pleasant afternoon to all. Seven years, when I first entered the portals of Hagto Elementary School, wishing that I could learn a lot of good things and more lessons that would help me in achieving my dreams. I have also dreamed of reaping an honor so I can be one of the distinguished guests. Standing in front of you, speaking before you, and now, here I am. 
humbly speaking before you as the fruit of all my sacrifices. As I imagined your faces today in this virtual graduation of ours, mixed feelings of both sadness and happiness dwell in me. We are now going to face the reality and continue achieving our dreams. I will surely miss all the laughter and memories we shared together. For all the problems we have faced together and taking those one as our stepping stone to reach our dreams. And now, we are going to dream on and continue believing that we can be successful in our own simple way. I owe this achievement to the person who stood by me in the test of time. A million of thanks to our dear teachers who became our second parents. Thank you for disciplining us and for nurturing us to be a good and productive citizen of our country. Words cannot be enough of expressing our great gratitude of having you. Thank you. To our beloved parents and guardian, Ma, Pa, Nai, Tai, we are very blessed to have you. Thank you for all your sacrifices just to give us a quality education. For your unconditional love you showered upon us, thanks a lot. To our Almighty Father, we praise you by whispering our silent promises to dedicate our lives to you by serving you with faith and love. We thank you for the wisdom you bestowed upon us. May your Holy Spirit lead us always so that we can take courage and stamina to continue our dreams to the top of our goals. In behalf of the graduates, I welcome you all to our graduation exercises. Keep safe everyone at mabuhay tayong lahat. Thank you. This activity will never be complete without the presence of those individuals who share their expertise to make this activity a successful one. We have Secretary Leonor M. Briones, our Deaf Ed Secretary, Salustiano T. Jimenez, our Regional Director, Sinin Preselio P. Pauline, the School's Division Superintendent of Negros Oriental, Joeliza M. Arcelia, Assistant School's Division Superintendent, Marcelo K. Palistis, Assistant Schools Division Superintendent. Dr. Ayene A. Sukoro, our District Supervisor. Mrs. Amalia G. Delphin, our Cluster Head. The teaching staff of Hanto Elementary School, headed by Ms. Mary Grace O. Eto. Our Barangay Officials, headed by Honorable Barangay Captain Virgilio O. Casaba. Parents and the graduates. To present to us the candidates for graduation, may I call on Ms. Marie Grace O. Etom to be confirmed by Dr. Aini A. Socorro, our PSDS. Dr. Aini Socorro, representative of the school's division superintendent, in my capacity as the school head of Hapto Elementary School. I have the honor to present our candidates for graduation for the school year 2020 and 2021. There are nine boys and nine girls with a total of 18 grade 6 pupils who have satisfactorily completed the requirements for elementary education as prescribed by the Department of Education. May I therefore request for the acceptance and confirmation of their graduation. By virtue of the power vested in me as the authorized representative of the school's division superintendent, Superintendent Sinin Priscilo Pulin, and upon the certification of the school head that they have satisfactorily completed the requirements prescribed by the Department of Education, I hereby accept and confirm their graduation. They are now entitled to receive their elementary diploma and are qualified to enroll or to proceed to junior high school. Congratulations. Presenting the graduates batch 2021 with nine boys. Argote Keverick D. Hagto Mabinay Negros Oriental. Balonket Emmanuel J. Nahalin Hagto Mabinay Negros Oriental. Devero Jan Mateo J. Nahalin Hagto Mabinay Negros Oriental with honors. Kumawan Joseph C. 
hagto mabinay negros oriental. Maghinay Dave J. Hagto mabinay negros oriental. Maghinay Raymart F. Hagto mabinay negros oriental. Oro Janel S. Hagto mabinay negros oriental. Sampaga Mike B. Hagto mabinay negros oriental. Sanguyo Alvin C. Hagto mabinay negros oriental. Nine Girls. Alejo Roshane O. Hagto mabinay negros oriental. Alvarez Generos R. Nahalin hagto mabinay negros oriental. Amarante Angel D. Nahalin hagto mabinay negros oriental. With honors. Continido Mariel F. Hagto mabinay negros oriental. Garcia Richie May J. Nahalin hagto mabinay negros oriental. Mahusay Eya Joyana K. L. Hagto mabinay negros oriental. With honors. Tambura Shikira M. Hagto mabinay negros oriental. Taihon Emily T. Hagto mabinay negros oriental. Velianueva Anali A. Mambulod Hagto mabinay negros oriental. Congratulations graduates school year 2020-2021. At this juncture, we will listen to the message of inspiration and encouragement. School year 2020-2021 has been a very trying and challenging school year. We came face to face with a number of major concerns that had to be addressed for the school year to open because of the pandemic brought about by the COVID-19 virus. We had to determine the modality of delivering lessons in our province in the absence of face-to-face -face classes. Enrollment had to be done remotely to keep to the safety standards so as not to compromise the health of our deaf and personal, our learners, and parents as well. School year opening had to be done in October only when the president of the country gave the green light for school year 2020-2021 to commence on condition that there would be no face-to-face -face classes. DepEd had to contend with the fears and reservations of the different sectors of the society regarding school opening. But education shall continue. This was the strong conviction of DepEd Secretary Leonor M. Briones, and this was supported by DepEd officials in the different governance levels of the department. All means were exhausted to make education continue, and it did. Now, we are at the threshold of the falling of the curtain of a very challenging yet historical scene, school year 2020-2021. Truly, School year 2020-2021 is historical, and being so, all of us who have contributed to the realization that education must continue amid the pandemic challenge are now part of history. Our names may not appear in the annals of Philippine history, but definitely our relentless effort will be etched in its pages. To you, dear graduates and completers, your graduation, your completion, is truly a feat which calls for a celebration. You have successfully overcome the different obstacles 
which have come along the way as you treaded your way during the school year. While the COVID-19 pandemic brought about fears among us, not to mention adverse change in life and lifestyle, it has also given you the opportunity to display how much you value education. The efforts you exerted as you work on your modules and comply with the requirements really shows that education is a priceless commodity which almost everyone wants to possess. Congratulations to all of you for successfully completing the school year in spite of the great challenge that had to be faced head on for you to reach this point of your life. Your graduation, your completion. Your graduation, your completion in these trying moments did not come in handy. So many ingredients had to be tossed and mixed to turn your dream of graduating, of completing a reality. The guidance and support of the Department of Education at the central and regional levels provided us with a direction as we sailed through rough waters. The heroism of your teachers and other school personnel under the stewardship of the principals and school heads, as well as the guidance of our public schools, district supervisors, as they courageously enrolled, distributed, and retrieved the modules is truly remarkable. The compassion of our division module writers and quality assurance team members under the wings of our division subject area supervisors of Negros Oriental Division to craft and produce our modules to give life to our modality of distance learning through the printed modules is amazing. This was strongly supported by the men and women of the SGOD, Administrative, Finance, Supply, and Health sections, and everyone in the division of SDO Negros Oriental. The men and women of the Alternative Learning System also did their share to make education continue in their own context. The support of our national government and our local government units at the congressional, provincial, municipal, and barangay levels was very inspiring, which gave Negros Oriental Division the strength to carry on with its mission of providing education at whatever cost. Our PTAs in the division district and school levels were a formidable support system that was such a great help. Our partners in the public and private sectors did not also turn a blind eye and a deaf ear to our needs. The support of your parents, guardians, benefactors was a very important element whose contribution to your success could not be underestimated. These are the people who also deserve the accolade as you celebrate your success. As the curtain of school year 2020-2021 falls, let us continue to hope that we will continue to strengthen education in the new normal through our dedication, commitment, and compassion. As we celebrate success, I give all our graduates, all our completers, and their parents, guardians, benefactors, and all those who made this possible my loud hurrah and bravo as I exhort all our completers, 
all of our graduates to brace for the challenges lying ahead with courage and a strong faith in the divine providence. The world continues to unfold for you, graduates and completers. Break a leg. Your education shall be among your strong weapons as you conquer the world. Congratulations and Godspeed. Greetings of love and peace to each and every one. School year 2020-2021 has been the most challenging year in education. All been struggling to survive in all aspects. But our beloved Secretary Leonor Magtulis Briones lead the baton that education must continue amidst whatever crisis we will be facing. And so, here we are, celebrating one of the most precious achievement, accomplishment that you have, your graduation and moving up ceremonies. It is one fleeting sense of pride and joy to be able to celebrate with all of you for your victory, bravery, resilience, perseverance, and commitment that push you to experience what we have today. So our beloved most precious gems, our dear learners, just wanted to let you know that you are doing great. It is not easy to be learners with all the pressures in today's world. The more in these trying times due to pandemic. How you hurdle your lessons remotely? Through distance learning of varied modalities, the fear and scare of the virus due to negative publicity and many more. But you survive and victorious. So don't lose your heart if you find things difficult. Today, the world is so tested. It is a high time that you put all your learnings into action. Never be a bystander watching as the world takes a paradigm shift. Take the wheel. Collectively, the youth are stronger than any pandemic known to men. Remember, everyone is a student of life as we all keep learning something or the other throughout our lives. So, keep the faith and believe in yourselves. Work hard and work smart too. And with the right focus and determination, you will see that goals are not impossible to achieve. Just have a clear plan and whatever debtors come your way, don't be afraid. Face them with conviction that those are part of the pitfalls where we cannot evade. So be strong and let your education and learnings with God be your shield. And don't forget to thank the most honest persons in your life. Those who can say and tell you exactly what you are doing, either good or bad. Those who guide you sincerely to the path where you want to walk on. Who always with you in times of your successes and downfalls. They are your parents, teachers, relatives, and best friend. So learners, congratulations. You hit the mark on your timeline. To all the parents and guardians out there, your contribution towards the realization of the once dreams of your children is so great. 
So stay in it and you will see and harvest the fruits of it sooner than later. So thank you for partnering with Deep Ed through your children's education. So to all of you, congratulations. To the school, I know how you struggle also, especially that the world was shocked of what happened and nobody was prepared. There were so many hows and whys, but you are able to navigate it until reaching its destination. So whatever is the experience and hardships, what is more important is the outcome of what you have done. That's why my salute to you. To our teachers, school heads, supervisors, and non-teaching personnel, you did a great job worthy of emulation. I am proud of you. To the SDOs, I am so happy of what your division accomplished for school year 2020-2021. Your efforts doesn't go to vain. Now it comes into fruition. So to all, kudos. To everyone, always have the smile in you. See miracles in life every day and you will be filled with positivity in thoughts and actions. Congratulations once again. Keep safe and God bless everyone. Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically. Where we've always thought, we've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners, this event would not have take would not be taking place um, at all. And so thank you teachers. Your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed, the assignments are correctly uh, implemented, and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners. So congratulations, teachers, for enduring, for your patience, for your love for our learners, and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are 
used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers, by our school officials, but also by our officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units, especially in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings uh, fall on the deserving uh, graduate each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted, and even as your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate and therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting, which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if uh, you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at the time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds, which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate 
services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker, of course, is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for f further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that, are, that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be opened because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents, and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do, whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity, the door which will help you know more about this world, and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you Congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates and we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do. God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. Being an 
awarded is not an easy task. It requires dedication, hard work, and competence. You need to burn your midnight candles in order to finish a signed task. Ladies and gentlemen, our awardees for school year 2020-2021. Amarante Angel D with honors. Devero John Mateo J with honors. Mahusay Eya Joyana K L with honors. Angel Amarante, our with honors, will give her message to our honored guests. Members of Hagto Elementary School teaching staff, beloved parents, my fellow graduates, friends, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I feel deeply honored for having been given this opportunity to speak before you in this memorable and most awaited occasion in our life, our graduation. This day is the day of our achievements over a period of seven enduring years in staying in this institution for thus and enlightenment. The past years that we spent in this institution comprises a collection of memories, experiences, trials and triumphs that measures our capacity as a pupil. Soon, we will be leaving our dear alma mater, the school that serves as our second home. This has been the witness of how we grew up of how we tripped, wondered and then stand up, of how we felt joy and happiness, of a sorrow and pain, of how we felt love and rejection, of how we dream and believe that we can achieve it. But the most important thing, schoolmates and my fellow graduates, are the learnings being imparted to us by our beloved teachers. You and I, the graduates, are now bestowed with knowledge and intellect. The knowledge and values embedded in us in all this year will be our weapon as we take the next step. Our faces now are bright with optimism and eagerly looking towards the future for greater accomplishment. Yes, graduation always summons and evoke our mingled emotions for the fulfillment of all our sacrifices and sense of pride for the task well done. Beloved parents, a million of thanks for the unfailing love, sacrifices, care and support as well as for sending us to school to have a better future despite of our poverty. Thank you for being with us, guiding us, and giving always time to us, especially in the most challenging moment of our life, the modular class. Dagan kayong salamat sa ako ang mga ginikanan, Papa Armando o Mama Vilma. Daghan kayo, salamat sa suporta o pagtabang ninyo na ako bisan man sa pandemya nga atong gisagubang karon. Without you, I am sure that I cannot stand alone. Dear teachers, thank you for the exhaustible patience in molding our minds to become a competitive and quality member of our society. You serve as our second parents and great heroes. To hug to elementary school, the institution were cradled us with love and who transformed us into me and the who I am today, ready to march toward the demanding challenges as the future may be. Our millions of thanks. To those who witnessed our memorable moments, build us up in your own unique ways, our proof of gratitude. My fellow graduates, as we step out the portals of this institution, Always bear in our minds that we are bringing the name of our dear alma mater. Whatever will happen, wherever we will go, whatever failure we will meet, and whatever achievement we will be fulfilled, our dear alma mater will always be a part of us. Lastly, we should thank and ask for the blessings and guidance of the Almighty, so that we will be able to overcome whatever trials and hardships the future may bring. Hope that every one of us will succeed in any field of endeavor. We are the one who chose our own future. We determined to reach out our goals. Keep safe, everyone. Thank you and mabuhay. Lastly, to give her closing remarks and acknowledgement, 
May I call on our school head, Miss Mary Grace O. Eto. To all our deep ed officials, my co-teachers in Hagto Elementary School, our stakeholders, the barangay officials, parents, and graduates, a pleasant day to you. There is a saying that in every beginning, there is an ending. Today, as the school year ends, I would like to extend my greatest gratitude to the parents for choosing Hanto Elementary School, a home for nurturing your children's education for the past seven years. Congratulations to all the graduates for making it this far and for also to the ever-supportive parents for you play a very vital role in this graduation. Congratulations! I would also like to thank everyone for their efforts in making this school year a success. Once again, thank you everyone and have a good day. Let me end this virtual ceremony with a quote by Ellen Nordic Green. Education is one thing no one can take away from you. Go for more Mabinay 4, Banat's Hagro. To all of you, Thank you for watching our virtual graduation. This is your host, Emily Obiloya. Congratulations and see you next school year.